Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my smart animations. Okay, I hope you guys have watched my previous video of the emoji paper squishy which I made. So if you haven't watched it, the link is in the description of this video. Go and check it out. And guys, today is a very, very, very special day. You know what's the special day? Today is 14th August 2020 Independence Day of Pakistan. So I'm going to be making a paper squishy and it's not a regular paper squishy. It is going to be the flag of Pakistan paper squishy. So let's get started. And the materials which are required for this paper squishy are glue stick, eraser, pencil, scissor, and a ruler. And two green papers and one white paper. So let's get started. Okay, so guys, first of all, what we're going to be doing is we need to make a two rectangle white papers for this, like for this part, okay? So let's just make a line over here. Okay, first of all, let's keep this over here and let's start. Why did I make two? Because there are two papers and we need to make a squishy, so we definitely need two papers. Okay, so guys, our first paper is done. Okay, let's get the second one. Okay, so guys, Two of our rectangle pieces are done. Oh, and guys, our next material which we need and which is required is cotton. I totally forgot to tell you guys. Cotton is also needed for the stuffing. Okay, so we finally have this. And you know where we're gonna stick this later? Let's, um, let me just show you an example. It's gonna be sticked over here like this. So it's like this. Just like this. Okay, let's keep this over here and next what we need to make is the crescent and the star. So for the crescent we need is a circle help in the container so you can just make a circle. Okay, let me make it like this. So let's make... part and I'm just gonna make this star later okay so let's just cut it off and we need to make two crescents for the both sides front and back so let's start to cut this very 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 gently Now this might be a little tricky, so let's just cut from here. There we go, guys. So here we have our crescent and it's perfect. So guys, we kind of need two crescents. So I'll make that later. Next what we need to do is make another crescent. <laughs> so I'll be right back when I'm done making two crescents. Okay, so guys, I'm finally done making two crescents, and yeah, we need two crescents. That's because we need to make for both the sides, front and back, obviously. Next of all, what we need to do is stick it. And guys, we're gonna make the stars later. Okay, so guys, now let's stick this over here like this, and the same on the other side. Okay, so guys, I have finally finished sticking these and now what you need to do is stick the crescent, stick these crescent over here, like this. And then the star will come in between. Okay, so guys, I'm finally finished sticking the crescent in both of these. So next what we need to do is make the star. 
Okay, so guys, I'm finally done cutting the star and making them. So what you have to do now is stick them on both of the flats. Okay, so guys, I'm finally finished sticking the stars on both of the flats. So next what we need to do is flip these and stick these two like this so it can look like a real flag. And by the way, we have to also stick tapes on both of the sides and we have to leave some space over here to fill the cotton inside. Okay, so guys, I'm finally finished taping this whole flag from both of the sides and I even taped all of the edges of both the flag, okay? And I even left some space over here for the filling. So what we have to do right now is fill the cotton inside here so it can be a perfect squishy. So I'll be back with you guys when I'm done filling the squishy. Okay, so guys, I'm finally done filling the cotton inside and I've also closed this part over here with tape. And you know what guys, the most difficult part of making the squishy was taping it from every side, every corner and both the sides and filling the cotton inside till the corners. Like that was the most difficult part ever. So let me just show you guys how it turned out. Let's just press it and yeah, let's see. Oh wow, this is a very nice low rising squishy. And yeah, so hope you like it. And guys, the most important thing is you have to make some holes inside so the air can easily go out and in. So let's poke some holes over here, over here, over here, over here, and the same thing behind. So it will be a better squishy. And there, now let's press it. Oh my God, it's really hard. Um, there now let's see oh wow guys this is an amazing squishy and this is a good thing you know why guys this can be a project for you to use in your school if you need it so feel free to copy my squishy if you want and comment down below what else you want me to make and give this a video like and subscribe my channel because I'm making these videos for you so you can you know be happy and well guys, that's all for today. Bye!